What's up guys? So today I'm with Jared Epstein from Aurora Capital Associates. Check it out. People calling me up saying they need a feature. Saying we can help each other, but I see the leeches. Get a credit where it's due. I ain't talking visa. But since we talking visa, don't say you won't pay me either. Did you catch that? Hey. We out here running around a few different meetings. What are the chances? I know, how you doing? What's going on? How's oh, everything? Oh, oh, you're on the vlog, you made it. <laughs> I'll see you later. It's my neighbor. That's funny. So a lot of the stuff that I did, I think pushed. You were the pioneer. Pushed, no, just not the pioneer necessarily, but just, you know, there was boutique companies, smaller companies could expand geography and, and do a great job servicing clients very differently, in my opinion, than the big corporate giants, right? right? Because, you know, and I saw how CB operated by being, you know, when I was there. So I was able to kind of combine the best of both worlds mm -hmm. to create Sabre. That's, that's how I looked at it. And if I wasn't happy at CB and didn't want to go to all these other options, I figured there had to be there some other, other people, people that would feel Right, and you really need to be an expert on your territory. I was a nightclub promoter. This is pre-bottle service. This is way before bottle yeah, service. I did this too, by the way. This was $25, yeah. oh, you were a promoter too? <laughs> Who'd I meet there? I met uh, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, who was he with at that point? Mariah Carey. Derek Jeter and Mariah Carey came in into the VIP room. And then I started doing uh, Cheetah on Thursday nights. Course, and I, I helped Noah and Jay. Jay Z, and that's when uh, yep. that's uh, Mark Bronson. Exactly, yeah. Bronson. Yeah. Legend. Killed it. The best ever. So And DJ AM back then. Yeah, we would nice. DJ here and there. So I would do Thursdays at Cheetah, Fridays Jay -Z at. Would come through that yeah, party. sometimes. Yeah. Fridays at Envy down on Spring Street. Of course. And Tuesday night I didn't promote, but I got a free bottle with my friends Tuesdays at Life. So my father calls me and says, listen, this guy Roseman, he's bringing Chipotle to Manhattan. I know who uh, of the guy because he is my client's like uh, real estate agent, and I'm gonna try and get you an interview with him. Go get your real estate license. I'm like, yeah, you know, I am kind of getting tired of this promoting thing. I'm 24 now, and yeah, I'm not able can't to. Can't do it forever. The people, yeah, the people don't want to come out the same when they're 24 and working that sure. they did when they were 18 to 22, right? right? I know nothing. I don't know what square foot means, literally. Nothing, zero, green, as green as they come. Dude, it's crazy that you only plays a design. big role in your real estate yeah. career and mine. Huge. Roseman, and then Lounge. That's Lounge. Right. Yeah. I call Roseman. And I think I'm speaking to like some 85 year old guy like that sits behind this like old <laughs> desk in this old building doing real estate, knew nothing about it at all. And he, he says, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to the, I went to the University of Maryland. I was a nightclub promoter. I used to promote this place, that place, this place. I did it in college as well. You know, I ran these events in Maryland and you know, I'm into finance as well. I know the market, the stock market. I've been, you know, following the market since I'm like 12 years old because my dad loves it. So I've been watching CNBC daily since I'm a little kid. So I'm interested in money, finance, deals, um, but I know nothing about real estate. Come up to my office. So I come up like a, a few days later, and he said, uh, you know, I wanted to meet you because you're all the things you spoke about regarding the nightclubs really intrigued me. If you could make it in that business, you can make it in this business. He goes, Rosen says, I was a promoter at uh, Hartford University. Robert Futterman was a promoter at Maryland, just like you. And he's a, you know one of the kings of retail. I do pretty well in retail. I'm running the retail division here at Newmark. They bought my company, New Spectrum. It's called Newmark, New Spectrum. You could do that, you could do retail. I don't have a spot for you. Like there's no desk for you here, but you know, I like you, I wanted to meet you, you know, put a name to a face and uh, you know, we'll, we'll follow up or whatever. Like two weeks later, I, I'm persistent. Like I'm emailing him, how you doing? You wanna go out for a drink? Like anything I can do to help you? I'd love an opportunity. He gives me an opportunity. Two weeks later, he found the desk. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that Jared Epstein, Jeff Roseman, and Robert Futterman were all club promoters? Well, I was too. And that's amazing to me because there are a lot of skill sets in this real estate business that we're all in that you could take out of the club promoting 
uh, nightlife entertainment world. And that's networking. That's what this is all about, okay? If I didn't have the opportunity to sit down with Jared as a result of doing these videos, he and I would not be working together on deals. And we're gonna make some. Back to the video. So it's been quite a ride, but it all started from Chipotle. That's crazy. What's your relationship crazy. like with Roseman now? Uh, he is, to, to this day, I think one of, something that really um, illustrates a person's character is their, is the relationship that they are able to or not able to maintain with a former employer. And my relationship with Jeffrey Roseman couldn't be better. He is today like an older brother to me, still remains a mentor and a great friend. And now we have our sons play together. He has a four-year-old son, I have a three-year-old son. They were together a month or so ago. We'll probably get them together in the next few weeks in the Hamptons. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a super individual, yeah, he's great person. I'm, I'm very friendly with Rose, yeah. man. I was, so Frankel was the head of real estate. Was the, yeah, so he was at uh, Chipotle when we, when wow. we brought them to New York collectively. Sure. So Roseman and I basically at the same time, him in first, um, but Frankel was in house at Chipotle Got and then ultimately went to work. Was working, he still works for Jeff, right? So yeah. from Jeff, so that's all McDonald's, old school people that are Starbucks people that Crazy. it's like so incestuous, but Insane, it, right? yeah, it's awesome. It's A lot awesome. of connectivity. It's good stuff. Great season. I bro. appreciate it very much. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. So that was an amazing meeting catching up with Jared Epstein and uh, totally amazing to me how much we have in common. We're similar in ages, grew up in very similar communities. He in Jersey, me in Long Island, uh, but we both came up through the club promoting world and uh, have a big network as a result of that. So we have a lot of friends in common uh, in the industry, outside of the industry, and it's so amazing to realize how being in that world in New York City has afforded me so many opportunities and uh, hearing his story about how he came out of the nightlife industry and into the commercial real estate world met several people that created opportunities for him to later on and today be a big, big reason for the redevelopment of the meatpacking district. Uh, Jared's an awesome guy. He's killing it, doing amazing things with Aurora. And uh, it was great to sit down with him. I'm looking forward to doing some deals together.